Hello and welcome to the PC Mission and Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. As you know, in the previous video, we disabled all of your arrow effects. Now, if your computer's still not running properly and you, uh, you know, you've you disabled all those effects, um, there's not a whole lot else we can do, unfortunately, when it comes to memory. So what I want to do is I want to check how much memory you have. And if you have less than one or two gigabytes of memory, you really should consider upgrading your memory on your Windows 7 computer. Windows 7 was designed as a minimum requirement of one gigabyte of memory. Recommended, obviously, is two gigabytes, and I will stick with that recommendation. Typically, I actually recommend three gigabytes because I like to actually have all the visual effects enabled, and a lot of their assumptions on test systems aren't exactly on the par as far as I'm concerned. Now in the upper left hand corner, double, no, right click on computer and select properties so we can check how much memory you have. Now it's going to be under this install memory section. I have three gigabytes of memory, 2.86 usable, whatever, but uh, the installed memory at mine is three gigabytes. And the second thing you need to note, of course, is the system type, which is 64-bit operating system in my case. Now, if you have a 32-bit operating system, let's clear the air here, you cannot have more than four gigabytes of memory. Now, this includes internal graphical memory, which means that if your graphics card has um, 256 megabytes of memory, as you can see, the 2.86 gigabyte usable, some of that memory is actually uh, reserved for Windows. So it's good to know that you can't have more than four gigabytes of memory, so don't go buy more than four gigabytes of memory if you have a 32-bit operating system. If you have a 64-bit operating system, that's great. You can upgrade beyond it. But to be honest with you, I don't really see any application where you need more than four gigabytes of memory for most users. If you need more than four, you know who you are. That's kind of where you're at on that. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is open up the web browser so that we can do a search for memory. And we're going to go to PCMichiana.com here in the upper left-hand corner, PCMichiana.com. That's my website. And I'm going to show you how to use this uh, Corsair Memory Finder. I have it in my uh, free download section. So go ahead and free download, select the drop-down, and scroll down to System Monitoring. I don't know why. I think it's just so de for detecting hardware. That's why I put it in that section. And select the Corsair Memory Finder. And uh, obviously select the post that has a Corsair Memory Finder on it and uh, then there will be a link that will lead you directly to the page. So go ahead and open that up. Now when the Corsair Memory Finder comes up, remember this isn't a foolproof memory um, configurator system. Um, if you cannot find it, if you have a newer system, you need to probably go to your manufacturer website and find out what kind of memory, but I'm going to show you what you're looking for. On the step one, go ahead and select whatever you have. In this case, I'm just going to select a desktop because a laptop because I, I have a system um, that I'm going to upgrade. And I'm going to select the drop down, I'm going to select Dell, and then, of course, the model number I want to select is the dimension. Let me scroll down. No, latitude, sorry. Latitude D600. Now, I'm going to click after I've selected all three of my systems. I'm going to select search. And uh, like I said, it's not a foolproof, foolproof system. And then what will happen is I'll come up with all the information regarding the memory that's in this system. This is an older laptop that I used to have. Now, the memory type, this is what you want to make a note of. DDR266, PC2100. Okay, those are what you need to know. Uh, size, that's how much you start out with. If you scroll down here uh, on the bottom bottom right hand corner, you'll see the maximum amount of memory the system has and how many expansion slots you have. It, both slots are, if you're using a laptop, probably being used, which means you're going to have to pull out whatever you currently have and put in new, which means that if I want the full two gigabytes, I got to get two sticks of one gigabyte. Is that making sense? I hope you guys are following me. So at this point, we know uh, the DDR size and the PC size, and we can go purchasing. Now, you can, of course, select Buy Now right here on Corsair's website, but what I recommend doing at this point is selecting the Plus or opening a new tab or browser, going to www.newegg.com. I'm sorry this video is a little long, but it's kind of descriptive, and it's, a, it's the best way to find memory. And uh, under the Computer Hardware section, hold, that, uh, hold your mouse over that, and we're going to scroll down to Memory, which is in the bottom and select memory. On the left hand side we're going to search for desktop or laptop memory. In my case it's laptop memory. So go ahead and select whichever category applies to you. And this is the great thing about um, Newegg's website and they are hands down probably the most reliable and trustworthy vendor that's out there. Let me scroll down on the left hand corner and we have 200 pin DDR2 SO DIM. So let me go back to my description and it's 200 pin SO DIM DDR so that's definitely what I'm looking for. So let me go back to Newegg and I'm going to select the 200 pin DDR. Oh, yep, DDR2, sorry. 
Actually, it was, D, it was supposed to be 200 pin DDR. Let me see if I even, they even have it. They might not even have it anymore. Oh, sorry, I selected the wrong one. 200 pin DDR. So let me go ahead and click on that. So now I've narrowed my search again. Now let me scroll down again. And then obviously I need a speed. I need the right speed. And let me go back and see what my speed was. Uh, it was DDR266. So let me go back to Newegg again. And DDR266 is right there. So let me go ahead and select that. And then since I need two gigabytes, two sticks of one gigabyte on capacity on the left-hand side, I'm gonna select gig one gigabyte. And then now I've filtered everything out. I know everything on this page now is exactly what I need for my system. Now I have the nice feature over here of sorting by, and personally I like to do it by best rating rather than lowest price, so I'll do it by best rating. And then right here at the top for $46.99, I can get one gigabyte of memory. Obviously I'll want two of them for my system if I'm gonna upgrade completely. Now this is an older system, so the memory is more expensive. If you have a newer system, the memory is probably a lot cheaper or around the same ballpark. Um, I don't recommend anything that has a really low, low rating, especially on memory, uh, but this is pretty much how you do it. This is how all the professionals do it. And now that you know, you can actually show all your buddies how to upgrade their computer's uh, memory. And memory is usually the cheapest method for getting a speed boost on your computer right out of the box. So thanks for stopping by. This video is a little long, but I, I wanted to be in detail so you guys fully understood how to do this. And if you have any questions, just ask me. Thumbs up if you liked it. And as always, stay tuned. I have more speed tips to come.